Today, I recreated Jolly Roger Bay from Super Mario 64 in Minecraft. So I blew up Super Mario 64 and took a video for reference. And then I have this 3D model here for the basic layout. So I blew up Minecraft, made a new world, and recreated Jolly Roger Bay. Here's how. Just before we start, I want to say I'm going to make the ship underwater instead of above water because it's going to be easier. And I feel like Jolly Roger Bay has a better feel when it's sunken. Also, there's a free download in the link in the description for Bedrock Edition. So first, I just filled a big area with water because it would be too hard to fill it with water after I built it. And for the sand, I decided to not use actual sand and instead use a beam block. This is because the sand gravity physics would be really janky, and the sand in Mario 64 has that wavy feel to it, kind of, I don't know how to say it, but the bean block just looks better, so I'm gonna use that. So I made the main beach area, and this is what it looks like. For the wall, I decided to use some dark prismarine, and then later I'll mix in some stone and some green terracotta. And later I'm going to make it pointy, like in the actual game. And for some reason in the 3D model, the wall was, I think, a texture from New Super Mario Bros. Wii? I don't know, it's just really messed up, so I had to use the video for the wall texture. So I started making the base of the wall and I'll build up later. This is gonna be kind of complicated slash difficult because I'm gonna make these walls straight, but in the actual game, it's kind of easy to tell that this is on an angle. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So this is what I have so far. I know I'm gonna have to add more water, but I'll do that later. So I made the base of the entire wall, but I'm going to change this part later. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like the foot of one of my cartoon yeah. characters. So after I made that, I filled it all in with water. And look at this cool design that happens when you fill it with water. It's just so weird, but it's so cool at the same time. So I started building up on the walls, and now I'm finally gonna get to the underwater part. Because most of the map has the underwater rock part, this was gonna be a really big decision, but I finally decided on some prismarine. I started making this prismarine roll right here, and I decided to make it four blocks deep. For this part right here with the pink bobum that you can talk to, I decided to use some cracked stone bricks because it looks kind of appropriate with all the cracks in it. I was thinking of using cobblestone, but that was a little too dark for this part. So I just did some cracked stone bricks. So I filled the walls of that part. And then I started making this pillar that you can climb on. The 3D model is very inaccurate, but I'm just using it for the basic layout, not the design and the detail. So instead of actually using the proper color, I used andesite. But then I later found out that it was this color, so then I changed it to some light gray terracotta. Which for some reason has a weird brown tint to it. Terracotta is just weird, like how- how- So I started making the outline of this ground right here, and then I started filling it in. Underneath, I just fixed all the water for some reason, even though you're never gonna be able to see it in the actual map. Unless you go out of bounds, so... For this platform right here, I used some packed mud, because that's what it was in the 3D model. But again, later I found out that it was this texture instead, so I just switched it to some crack stone bricks. For this part right here, I use the same thing, crack stone bricks, and then I decided to put the button there, even though it's part of the details, but I use the same thing for the button as last time. For the purple button, I use some purple glazed terracotta and some copper slabs. It doesn't look the best, but it's Minecraft. You're limited. It was a little higher, so I made that too. And then there's this little sand part right beside it, so I just used some bean blocks. Then I started connecting the bean blocks to the underwater ground. Then I started making these wooden platforms that lead you to the ship. Even though I'm gonna be making the ship underwater, it still shows up when the ship isn't there, so I'm still gonna be making them. So I used some dark oak wood planks, and then I just put some warp fence underneath. I started working on some more underwater prismarines, so I'm gonna try not to talk about it that much from now on. So let me just sum it up quickly for you. I made this part, that goes on this part, this part, I don't know. And now this is what it looks like, so yay me. So I started building this part, and this is what it looks like now, yay me again! Now was the kind of complicated part. Making the deep dark. The, the, the deep dark water. I just want to make it sound cool, okay? This is the deepest part of Jolly Roger Bay, and it looks pretty deep. The actual part where it starts is bigger than the actual ocean floor because this kind of curves a little bit. So with the ocean floor, I just broke one layer off the outside all around and just kept doing that until I got something about four blocks smaller. And then I started connecting the walls. This took a long time, but I'm not going to bore you with it because it's just the same thing over and over again. So one, two hours, skip a few more hours. Yay, look, it's done. Some parts were really easy like this, but some parts were just really complicated, so I had to do a lot of terrain changing. And if you watch my previous recreating in Minecraft videos, you know my least favorite part is terrain, and my most favorite part is the details. For this little hole thing, or I don't know, the thing that the eel comes out of, I decided to use some glow lichen because when I placed vines, they just disappeared. And then at the end of the hole, I put some black concrete to represent the darkness. darkness. <laughs> 
but now I started making the underwater tunnel to the cave part. The underwater tunnel was pretty simple, and then I started making the cave. The ground is sand, so I did that, and then I just started making the actual layout for it. This is what it looks like now. I made the outer wall with prismarine, and then I started building up. And then I was done the cave. I gave myself night vision to just look in the cave, because obviously it's really dark. Where'd you get any sources of light? And then I forgot this part where I changed the wall for some reason, so I just built up there. So after I fixed the actual basic layout of the wall, I started making the top spiky detail parts. And now this part was pretty boring, but it was pretty easy. Mixing in the green terracotta and stone with the wall. I just poke a bunch of holes in the wall and then swap between them in my inventory. That took a while to make. And then I was done, so then I started making the details. For the sign, I used a jungle sign and obviously just typed random things on it. For the rocks all over the place, there are some in the 3D model, but not all of them. So I just decided to use the actual video for reference. For the rocks, I used some cracked stone bricks. And for the cannon, I did the same thing I used in two other videos. Blue concrete. And for the sides, I used some stained glass panes. And for the top, I put a black carpet to represent the hole in the cannon. For this exclamation mark block, I used, used some yellow concrete and then put some burnt signs on it with three exclamation marks. I know it's really small, yeah. but what else can I use for an exclamation mark? I did the same thing with the metal cap box and then I put some more rocks underwater. For the seaweed, I just used some seagrass and bone mealed it. And for the clams, it was really complicated. So I decided to use some magenta coral and some white banners and some white carpets. Everything was nice until I made another clam over here. For some reason, over here, the white carpets disappear, and then over here, they don't. I don't know why that happens, it's just- They're both underwater, I tried everything, even putting a repeating command block just Bruh. fills it with carpets. So I just decided to use an iron pressure plate. And luckily, that didn't just disappear. Now I've done the basic details over here, except for the ship, the clam, and the grass. I started working in the cave, and for these big things that fall on you, I decided to use some cracked stone bricks, some stone brick walls, and some stone stairs, and this is what it looked like. For the Goombas, it looked very ugly. I did the same thing in Bob and Battlefield. I bought brown concrete with a spruce sign and made a little face on it, then added a flower pot on their head and a little mushroom to represent their shape. Bro. Laugh all you want, I don't care. I made three of those and then made some more rocks. For pushing P, I used some gray concrete powder and a blue carpet. After some more Goombas, a sign, some more rocks. For this part, I decided to use a chest. You can't make them face Bro. diagonally, even though this part was diagonal, so... I decided to make them all just face straight, and then I started doing the lighting. This was gonna take a long time, so I don't wanna bore you, so here's just me doing it really fast. I did a lot of it off camera because it's all the same thing. And then I started making the sunken ship. I decided to use some dark oak and spruce. Dark oak is for the outside, and the spruce is for the inside. It's kind of tilted a little bit, so I made one side lower than the other. And for some reason, all the tropical fish that I spawn fall to the ocean floor. They're able to swim, but they're all just crawling around on the floor. If you know any way to fix this, please tell me because they just get in my way and it doesn't look good, it just looks ugly. And then for the windows, I was pretty proud of myself because it looked really good. I used some black concrete and some glass, and for the hole, I'm not gonna make the actual inside of the ship because that is a sub room and it's not actually in there. It teleports you somewhere else, and I'll probably do that in a different video sometime in the future. Then I made the front of the ship. This is a little bit more complicated, but it was still pretty easy. I made some windows on the side, some more adjustments, all this, all that. Killed all the fish on the inside of the ship that just decided to go in there, and then I was done the ship. I had some more seagrass, a clam, and then I started putting some more light blocks there. Now for the last part, I made the Unagi. The Unagi was really complicated because it's Minecraft and it's square, even though this has like, I don't know, a billion sides. So I did a lot of trial and error, and then I made the red fade to brown to black, and then for the dots, I used some birch buttons and all this and all that, and then this is what it looks like. Laugh all you want, I don't blame you, it looks very ugly. So after putting the last light blocks, I was done. Here's Jolly Roger Bay from Super Mario 64, recreated in Minecraft.
watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on Halloween. Goodbye.